They put tampons in men's bathrooms. And they're just this, oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, so the war on women. That was Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, commenting on the tampon shortage that we're experiencing. And uh, she doesn't want to blame it on supply chain issues, the war in Russia and the high cost of cotton. No, she's decided to blame it on tampons being available in men's bathrooms because she's alleging that transgender uh, people are looking to use tampons. Um, None of it makes sense, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong, okay? Maybe I'm the crazy one. So let's watch her argument and then you decide. Men have taken over everything. They're, 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 they're women of the year in yeah. every category and women's categories. And the latest news is, Brian, that now there's a shortage of tampons. And that's probably because men are buying tampons. And is this actually, breaking news right now? Are yeah. you, is it a joke? No, it's Am I not being a joke. Right now? Are you, are you <laughs> no. telling me that this is legit? I'm telling you the truth. You can look it we up. We have that many. Look it up on the internet. Everything's true on the internet. No, you need to have like just very like low level intelligence, like basic intelligence, just to like get through life to survive, right? Like the intelligence necessary to inform you that it's a bad idea to play on the freeway, right? How did she survive to this point in her life? I don't yeah, know. I, 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 they're putting the tampons in the men's bathrooms. Not a joke, not a lie. Okay, yeah. What? It's, it's not at all. Where, true. where, where exactly are they putting the tampons? <laughs> Why? Okay. Why? Like, where, 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 where do the tampons go? Look, where do you put your tampons, lady? Like, what, what are you talking about? Look, the, the, I. She's so dumb that if she wasn't a politician attacking other people and causing damage in the world, I wouldn't allow anybody to attack her. Right, because you uh, feel like yeah, you're I'm, attacking someone who might have a serious, you know? No, I'm, I'm being totally serious. Yeah, I no, I she, am too. Yeah, like I'd almost want to protect her, like poor girl, right? Like, like so. Look, none of what she's saying is true. Of course, I mean like, everybody knows that. There's enough trans people in the country. Even her co-host knew it. Like he said it for a second, really there's enough transgender people in the country that it would drive the shortage of tampons? No, but Jake, like no Jake, one okay. with two brain cells could possibly believe it. Are that. you not a woman yourself, Marjorie Green? She's a woman herself, okay. So uh, no one's clamoring to wear tampons or any type of feminine product if they don't absolutely have to. It is not like, like no one's, for women who actually do need to use this this product, okay, once a month, it's not like they're like, oh god, I just I love it when it's that time of the month and I get to use a tampon. Like no one's excited to wear tampons. So like the idea, like women aren't excited to wear tampons. No, the no. idea that like transgender people who don't menstruate are like, oh god, I can't wait to use a it. It's like the most nonsensical, insane bat. Crazy stuff I've ever heard in my life. And if the claim is that the minuscule number of people who were born women and still menstruate have now become men, and that's why you need to put it in the men's bathrooms and it's leaving the short, that is such a tiny, tiny right. number that all the bathrooms in the country are now responding and putting tampon in, it's just in men's so bathrooms. Stupid. It's so like stupid. None of it makes any sense. And then I want to say one more thing. I mean, I know you got more facts than receipts, but. If I saw tampons in a men's bathroom, you know what my reaction would Do be? Do I need to provide facts and receipts? <laughs> like really? Like, like what, what do you guys want from me? Like, do I really need to do it? Like, let's let's give you guys like anatomy, like I don't know, second grade anatomy class. You guys ready for it? <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Jake. Okay, if I saw it in the men's bathroom, I'd be like, um, okay, like. It wouldn't even bother me. I just think that, oh, I guess they put it in the wrong bathroom, or this used to be a, a woman's bathroom or a unisex bathroom. But I wouldn't give it a second thought for a second. Like, is that a national like emergency? Is that a thing that we should have? Oh my God, there's tampons in the wrong bathroom. Well, I was saying that. Like, wait, we don't have like our what bathrooms? Just, what bathrooms? What bathrooms? No, I yeah. want to know what bathrooms. Like bathrooms in like restaurants, bathrooms in schools. Because like, if we're talking about bathrooms in like a public place. They don't even have toilet paper half the time. Like the idea of like, st have you been in a men's bathroom? Like the idea that a men's bathroom would like stock up on anything. 
Like they barely even clean a men's bathroom. I've seen men's bathrooms. Oh, I've seen men's bathrooms. Like, like the we could use any cleaning products at all in there. Really, like we need help. There are barely any products, period, in a men's bathroom. Like the idea that they're like, oh yeah, they're hoarding the tampons for the men's <laughs> they're bathroom. Hoarding the, the men are hoarding the tampons. What the trans people are hoarding the shampoos. This is just to like the lunatics, the ravings of a lunatic mind. And but but what's amazing to me is not her because it's a country of 330 million people. You're, there's a number of lunatics in the country. That's normal, right? It's that Republican voters see that and go, a mm, girl. Nailed it. Nailed it. The real problem in America isn't that if you get the federal minimum wage, you only make $15,000 a year. The real problem isn't, as we reported earlier in the year in this show, that 338,000 people died because they didn't have health insurance during COVID. The real problem is tampons in the men's bathroom. So I mean, if you think that, you, I would want to protect you too if you weren't doing damage. So ladies, let's get to the reality of what's happening with the tampon shortage because there is a shortage. I've seen the headlines and I wanted to get to the bottom of it. And it turns out that it has to do with the cost of raw cotton. Really? Yeah. So it has to do with market yeah. dynamics rather than tampons and men's bathroom. Yeah. I had it at 50-50. So the cost of raw cotton used in making the sanitary product was reportedly 71% higher in April than it was the previous year. Russia's war in Ukraine has further exacerbated the production cost. So tampon prices in the United States have shot up nearly 10% due to inflation, affecting nearly 40% of the US's menstruating population who use the sanitary product. But nonetheless, we have more from Marjorie Green on this where she says, she makes note of the way the, People who menstruate are being referred to. People who menstruate can't find tampons. Has anyone checked the warehouses at the border where all the baby formula? I can't. I, she's just. No, too I know. This it's I too can't. stupid. Like I can't. I can't. I can't do she's it. She's like, well, I, I had to blame like the other boogeyman that we have. You know, they say all oh, the immigrants coming across the border. They're the ones who rigged the system. How could they have rigged the system? They just crossed the border. They weren't even here before. They're not. They're not even rich. They have no power at all. Don't. Isn't it your donors that are rigging the system that have all the money and power? No, it's the immigrants. And they took our baby formula and our tampons. Okay, look, if you believe that, man, go get counseling, go get help. All right, so one final thing I want to mention for the ladies who are suffering from either having to pay too much for tampons or can't get their can't get a hold of tampons because of the shortage. What are you doing? Get yourself a diva cup or something similar to that. This is where all the dudes get a little uncomfortable. Go ahead and get uncomfortable. Already uncomfortable. Yeah, yep. uh, menstrual cup made of silicone. Uh, you're not going to get toxic shock syndrome. It's better for the environment, and you can keep it in longer uh, without having to change it. It's a life changer. Get it. <laughs> Awkward. It. Super uncomfortable. Deal with it, okay? <laughs> Deal with it because it's a reality. Um, and one, once you go diva cup, you never go back. Okay, please stop. Okay. Let's go to the next story. <laughs> Ne next, story. next story. Somebody's gonna take my stapler. Next story. Don't take my stapler. <laughs> all right, okay. I just want to do a solid for my girlfriends, all right? Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.